everyone. Welcome everyone to another observability clinic. Today we are putting the spotlight on the discovery and coverage app. And with me, I have the brainchild of that app. <laughs> Lucas, how are you? Hi, Eddie. All good? All good. Perfect. Hey, a lot of great announcements I perform, especially around new apps, uh, especially around how we are helping our customers to get the one agent out into all of their environments. And uh, I think the discovery and coverage app has a lot to do with it, helping customers find out where the one agent could potentially help. Yeah, that's exactly right. It was a huge perform for us in infrastructure observability, uh, a lot of great announcements, um, a lot of new apps. Uh, so today we'll go through two of those announcements that uh, we had and, and do a little bit deeper dive uh, into those. Cool. And I think you also said if people want to dive even deeper, there's obviously documentation, but there's also uh, the perform sessions that people can then watch on the website. Exactly. Yep. Perfect. But hey, let's jump into it. What have you uh, prepared for us today? Okay. So one of the, the first things that um, you know we announced at Perform was a new one agent mode called Foundation and Discovery. So really the, the focus here is around deploying uh, one agent to all of your hosts across your entire enterprise. Um, so, you know, customers know and love one agent. They use it on all of their tier one and tier two applications, their critical infrastructure. But many times it, it proved to just be too expensive to put on tier three, tier four mm -hmm. type applications, you know, places where if something breaks, maybe somebody opens a ticket, mm -hmm. maybe it's fixed in a couple of days. Maybe they don't need the the, the level of, of monitoring that we've previously provided. So Foundation Discovery is a much more economical mode mm -hmm. that allows customers to deploy across their entire enterprise. And we will, what we've really found is that you know monitoring gaps or under-monitored hosts is one of the biggest risks that customers really mm -hmm. have today. Um, so getting that complete coverage is a, a big theme, and that, that's what we'll talk about with Foundation Discovery and also the discovery and coverage app. Cool, so that means from a Dynatrix perspective, we give everybody a very low cost uh, option to roll out the one agent on all of the hosts. You used to talk about tier three, tier four, um, giving you visibility and if the host is up and running, where the basic things that you wanna have from a coverage perspective, and then we have the discovery app that tells me where I have the potential to actually roll out that type of yep. agent then. Exactly, so you know all of the things that people know and love about one agent, you know, easy to deploy, automatic updates, easy to control at massive scale using the UI or APIs. Um, so all of that is still there. All of the topology discovery around what runs on your host, what does it connect to, all of those things, um, as well as uh, basic host monitoring. Mm -hmm. So is my host up or down? Is my CPU uh, maxed out? Am I running out of memory? You know, is my disk full? Mm -hmm. uh, did my OS services crash? Cool. Those kinds of basic things. Uh, infrastructure monitoring is still great for your critical infrastructure workloads where you know you need the hundreds of extra metrics that we capture uh, that deep dive deep into you know the host performance, process performance, uh, network analysis between mm -hmm. two processes, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So we we called it foundation discovery because it really is a foundation for many different use cases. Mm -hmm. And this enterprise-wide or, or Dynatrace everywhere is kind of a theme across many different things. So, you know, it enables a lot of other use cases like log management or application security or updating your, your CMDB with real-time up-to-date information. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I really like also the opt-in for log and, and application security. That's that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, discovery app. Yep. Uh, just one, one quick uh, note before we go. Uh -huh. uh, so this is already available um, for SaaS and will be coming in the first half of the year for, for managed as well. Oh, perfect. Uh, but does require the, the DPS uh, license. Mm -hmm. So the Discovery and Coverage app, you know, now that you are, are able to cover your entire enterprise with one agent, you know, how do you figure out what's the right level of monitoring to put in the right places? Mm -hmm. So this is where the Discovery and Coverage app comes in. Um, really surfacing where you have monitoring blind spots and allowing you to close those quickly. So we take all the great information that we already have in Smartscape, and then we we use that information to to visually show you, you know, here's your monitoring gaps, mm -hmm. and here's a one-click uh, way to resolve those. This is also available in SaaS already for, for all SaaS customers. Cool. That means everybody that is on SaaS by default has this app already installed 
Exactly. The perfect awesome. And the app doesn't cost the user anything. Yeah. Um, it does enable you to, to make changes to things like one agent modes and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but the app itself is included. Yeah. Perfect. Can we see this live in action? Yeah, let's do it. So here's the, the launcher. And uh, you know, as we said, there, there's been a lot of announcements on Perform this year, mm -hmm. a bunch of new apps that uh, were created, and I'm sure you'll do other uh, clinics on these mm -hmm. as well. But down here in the Manage section, which really focuses on the, the Dynatrace admin, mm -hmm. uh, you see Discovery and Coverage. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the splash screen. So here we, we kind of introduce the app. It, it, we really view it as the home for those Dynatrace admin users. Mm -hmm. We see this being uh, you know, growing over time with more and more use cases to be kind of the one-stop shop for the Dynatrace admin. Mm -hmm. To know that this Dynatrace is healthy and you know her entire environment is, is covered mm -hmm. appropriately. Mm -hmm. So let's start with uh, the host coverage. Mm -hmm. So here we're kind of covering two main use cases, making sure that all of our clouds are connected and then making sure that all of our hosts are connect, are uh, covered. Mm -hmm. So here at the top, we can see the overall coverage rate. So 59%, um, you know, certainly could be better. But we also have a warning here that VMware is not included in the data mm -hmm. uh, due to missing cloud integrations. Mm -hmm. So because we know about a host, both from one agent, but also from these cloud integrations, we can tell whether you know it's being monitored appropriately on both sides. Mm -hmm. So for VMware, we know that we only have partial coverage because we know that there's hosts that uh, we have one agents on that are you know in your VMware environment, but we don't have a, a VMware connection there. Oh, okay, so that's also really cool that our existing one agents obviously know where they're running on, mm -hmm. and then we know that hey, you're running on a VMware or you're running on EC2 or whatever but you have not enabled like the cloud integration uh, or like in this case, the VMware integration. Yeah, that's pretty smart. So, so we call this out as, as critical and you know, why is that critical? So if you think about, you know, here we only know about seven hosts from VMware, mm -hmm. but we know that there's at least nine of them. Mm -hmm. You know, how, how big is the gap? Yeah. We don't even know. Yeah. So until you, you have the proper cloud connections, we can't discover all of the, the host candidates. Mm -hmm. But then once we do, then we can tell you exactly, you know, how big your, your uh, monitoring gap is. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, we can see here, um, for AWS, we have uh, 73 detected hosts and 41 of them have one agents on them. Mm -hmm. So again, we make it very easy to, to step through uh, how to, to resolve these. So for this VMware issue we saw down here, mm. um, you know, we put right in the app yeah. uh, the connection, allowing you to, to quickly add that. For installing one agents, we also you know, make this even the step easier than, than we already had. So now you have the IP addresses right here mm -hmm. that you can just click copy, and then you can paste that into your automation scripts, your, sure. your automation uh, tools, et cetera. We can pick that uh, foundation and discovery mode a couple more uh, copy and paste, mm -hmm. and then um, you know you're able to you know, quickly close that coverage gap and get to 100. percent Yeah, you make it really easy now because people don't have to click around and find all the different installer screens that we have. But you are giving all the installation instructions, and now specifically with the IP addresses selected, because a lot of IT ops folks that are that need to install the one agent, as you said, they're using automation tools where you are iterating through a list of hosts and uh, that makes it super easy to uh, to configure those. Yeah, awesome. All right, so let's, let's say that now we've connected all of our clouds, we know about all the hosts that are out there, we've got one agent on all of them, so we now have a, a rich smartscape knowing you know, all of your processes, what, what's there, how are they connected, et cetera. The next piece is really around discovery findings. Mm -hmm. So here we have best practice rules on uh, how things should be monitored with Dynatrace, okay. in our opinion. Mm -hmm. um, you know, customers can can certainly choose to mute these rules if you know mm -hmm. we've discovered, say, for example, MS SQL databases, which we think are you know a critical part of your infrastructure. If you disagree, you mm -hmm. can mute that rule. Mm -hmm. um, 
But again, this is using um, you know basic DQL to say, you know, show me all of the uh, MSQL databases mm -hmm. that one agent has found in your environment. Mm -hmm. And then we give recommendations for how it should be monitored. So the first one here is around setting the monitoring mode for one agent to at least infrastructure mode. So that's that way we get all the deep performance stats about the host and the different processes. Mm -hmm. But then also activate this extension, mm -hmm. which gives us a view inside the database of you know how how is the performance going? You know, are you filling up table spaces, all of these types of things. <clears throat> And we also make it really easy to, you know, remediate these at scale. Mm -hmm. So in this example, we only have two entities. Um, but when you click apply to all, it's going to set the one agent mode, but it's also going to activate the extension. That's really cool. I mean, that is really make this super easy. And, and, and if I can recap with the one agent discovery mode, right, I get brought. And then the one agent dis in discovery mode basically tells me, hey, on these hosts, we identify certain processes that we know, based on our best practices, would be good to be monitored a little deeper, like the database instances with an extension for SQL, for Oracle, many other things that we have extensions for, and then just say, turn it on, turn it on, turn it on, and that's it. Yep, exactly. And you know, we have these across a number of different categories, so that's looking at databases. We also have rules for logs, making sure that you know we're collecting all the appropriate logs. Um, and also Kubernetes. Mm -hmm. um, so here you can see that the recommended action is installing the Dynatrace operator. Mm -hmm. And we can see 34 of our Kubernetes nodes are, are covered that mm -hmm. way. Um, but that means that five are not. Mm -hmm. um, so we're missing out on you know, detailed information about our workloads, mm -hmm. um, you know, other kinds of like backup events and things like that. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm very happy to see Kubernetes there. As you know, I'm a CNCF ambassador, and the Kubernetes is dear to my heart. And seeing that we make it easy for our users to get observability into Kubernetes is is critical. Thank you. So this is the the version that's out there for all of our customers currently. Um, if I can cheat just a little bit, I'll show you the version that comes out uh, in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we changed the, the columns uh, a bit on the host coverage part to make it a little bit more clear. Mm -hmm. I think in the previous example, you saw VMware where, you know, it said that the host coverage was greater than 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, we had some early customer feedback that that was a bit confusing. So we reworked the, the UX here. Uh, so now we can clearly call out, you know, these are hosts that are on undiscovered clouds. Mm -hmm. And then these are uh, hosts where... Uh, you do have the one agent and the cloud monitoring. Mm -hmm. So it makes it very clear, you know, in this case, we have nine hosts that have one agents, mm -hmm. but we don't even know what how many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's a yeah. VMware, but yeah. Yeah. You, know, you need to connect it first. One other key change that we made uh, to make it uh, even easier, uh, we changed the UX on this uh, explain rule. Mm -hmm. So for each of the rules, we explain you know, why is this important? Mm -hmm. So here it's, sorry, this is a bigger environment, so it's mm -hmm. taken a second to run all the DQL. Um, so here we explain why, um, in this case, MySQL databases are a critical part of your infrastructure. Mm -hmm. We also show you the exact uh, DQL rule that, that we're using to understand the relationships in Smartscape yeah. on here's an MySQL database that doesn't have the the appropriate coverage. Yeah, I mean this this alone, and you don't even know how much how helpful this is because I know we have all the data in DQL in Grail, but understanding and then knowing which DQL query I need to get certain things out, this is awesome because I can just cheat now and I can go to the discovery app and I get the DQL query to get the SQL instances. It's awesome. Yep. Well, make it even easier. You can also go to open with, ah. and let's say you wanted to put that on a dashboard. It feels like cheating again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then you are whatever, uh, you know, I think you were in the MySQL section. Yeah, cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's nice. Cool. Um, so, so this is kind of where we're at today. Um, you know, back on the splash screen, we'll, we'll talk about some of the other uh, use cases that we've planned for this year. 
Um, but the next big thing that we'll work on is adding, you know, one big piece that's missing here. So we have hosts and we have, you know, kind of these rules. What do you, what do you think might be missing? Network maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we had a lot of uh, feedback from customers that perform. You know, this is great. Now yeah. we can, you know, eliminate all of our, um, you know, other infrastructure monitoring tools mm -hmm. that we can cover all our hosts. But wait, what, what about the network? Okay. How are you going to make that easier? Okay. So that's the, the next thing we'll work on is adding device coverage here as well. Ah, uh, cool. That's nice. Awesome. It'll be the same kind of approach where we yeah. show you, here's the monitoring gaps. Here's a one-click approach to closing. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Lucas, thank you so much. Um, obviously, as there's more innovation coming here, I will have you back. Sounds good. You also said there's a lot of other apps out there. So, folks, if you are seeing this and you are intrigued by a lot of the new announcements, uh, stay tuned. There will be coverage on all of the apps. This is just the beginning for a journey towards 100% coverage of your infrastructure with Dynatrace. Thank Thanks, you. Andy. Yeah.